What up, Fortnite family? Update 13.20 went live today, which means you're stuck with me, Matt, once again as we here at ProGuides break down everything new that has been added to the game. As usual with these update videos, we're going to go over the few details that Epic Games sends to its creators every patch, but this time there seem to be fewer details than ever before. In the email, Epic mentioned a hot new weapon which is said to add some flair to our arsenal, so obviously the flare gun has finally been added to the game. In a surprise move, a deployable upgrade station was also mentioned, which is going to give us easier access to upgrading and sidegrading by allowing us to place an upgrade station down wherever we want. This can be done by destroying an upgrade station that's already on the map, which will now drop it as an inventory item that you can replace. LTMs are also going to be coming back for the first time since Season 3 began, and though they haven't told as which ones are coming back first, they have said that they will be starting with some fan favourites. We've also been told that a mighty hero is coming to the item shop this week, and you better believe that we already know what it is from looking through the files. But before we go anywhere near the files, let's talk about the new changes to the Season 3 map. The water levels have gone down, and some of the flooded landscape of the Apollo Island has been revealed once again. This is something that will likely happen with every update this season, and not all that much has changed in this week's reduction of the water level. There have also been a few new balance changes. The delay on the charged shotgun has been removed, and it now has four charges. Gas station icons have been added all over the map to tease the upcoming vehicles and you can now visit a new island near the shark location. Marauders have also been nerfed. They'll drop RPGs and stink bombs at a much lower percentage. SMGs have also received a very slight nerf. If you're lucky, like really lucky because this thing has a 0.001% chance of spawning, then you'll come across a secret golden mushroom that will give you 100 shields. Oh, and fishing spots got buffed as well. Now there's a 60% minimum chance for fish to spawn and an 80% maximum. As usual, a bunch of new things have been added to the game files that haven't actually gone live yet. New textures have been discovered in the game of Captain America's shield, as well as a new text line for the description of the shield. It reads, Captain America's shield is as indestructible as his will. We'll probably see this skin arrive as a surprise as part of Fortnite's July 4th Independence Day celebrations. The skin might already be in the shop at the time this video comes out, as the shop is set to change today well before this video goes live, which is pretty unusual for Fortnite shows. Shops. Some new posters have been added to the game, teasing the arrival of the upcoming new vehicles. There's a small truck called the OG Bear, a much bigger truck called the Mudflap, a sensible city car known as the Prevalent, and finally a cool looking sports car called the Whiplash. As the water recedes further, we'll be able to play with these awesome looking vehicles in the future. As usual, a bunch of new cosmetics were also added to the files of the game. For full skins, there's the Dark Heart, the Star Flare, the Rally Raider, Dad Bod Jonesy, Bryce 3000, Safari, Cozy Chomps, Comfy Chomps, Surf Witch, Kyra, Larda, and the Par Patroller. There are two new gliders, the Sail Shark and the Green Eagle. On the back bling side of things, there's the number one, the Heartless Wings, the Universal Bloom, the Weathered Wings, the Beef Pack, the Boombox 3000, the Gunny Sack, the Overbite, the Sharky Shawl, the Star Power, the Impact Green, and finally, the Caperoni. A whole bunch of new harvesting tools have also been added to the game. The Gold Crow, the Mayhem Scythe, the Bewitching Blades, Two Scoops, the Starstruck Axe, the Weathered Gold, the Snacks, the Little Sweeties, the Hook Slicer, Block Blades, Flail Blades, and finally, the Sharky Slappers. The new wraps are the Stylish Stripes, the Fighting Fish, the After Party, the Burning Bright, the Linear Streak, and Ms. Whip. For emotes and sprays, we've got the Renegade, Verve, Introducing, Get Loose, Sackin, an FNCS Emoticon and Spray, the I Sit Spray, and the Dog Eat Dog Spray, which is honestly kind of just disturbing. A new LTM has also been added to the game files, which looks like it's going to take full advantage of the new vehicles that will be added to the game. It's called Chrome, and is going to be a racing-themed LTM. In the files, it says, race to the finish, get to the finish line however you can, which implies that there might be some kind of combat system during the races. Will this be more like Mario Kart, where you can pick up items to fire at your opponents, or more like GTA Race from GTA, where you actually shoot weapons at your opponents? We just don't know yet. One of the really interesting leaks found in this update is of a future feature that has not yet been added to the game called Reload V-Bucks. This new feature it will actually allow you to buy as many V-Bucks as you need to get a new item. So, for example, instead of having to buy 1000 V-Bucks for an item you only need 100 more V-Bucks to get, you'll be given the opportunity to just buy the 100 V-Bucks instead. 
it's a much more consumer friendly approach to the v buck system now we know that most of you guys are mainly battle royale players but we thought we'd also mention the elephant in the room epic games is essentially shelving save the world with this update they're bringing the whole game including battle royale and creative out of early access and will be giving all ultimate edition owners the new metal team leader pack and 8000 v bucks updates will still happen to save the world but much slower though we shouldn't expect anything different to happen to the update schedule of Battle Royale. Okay guys, that's everything that you need to know about in today's 13.20 update. I'll see you guys again when update 13.30 gets released. In the meantime, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're informed of all of our future videos.